Right, I'm with Nelson Adian on the back of the Nimble draw with Clifton. Uh, Nelson, this is your first game with Radford. What do you make of it all? Um, you know, just welcoming environment, you know, really got into it uh, as the game went on. Uh, you know, it's a great team to be around and the lads were very welcoming. It being my first game, obviously, you know, so yeah, I'm just really appreciative of it all, to be honest. Uh, and you are a centre-back by trade, I'm guessing, and you did incredibly well throughout that game. You were physical, you put in some great challenges. Um, but it was a game that was an incredibly physical one as well. When you get tackled and you get fouled and these sort of things happen, how do you keep composed and stay calm? Um, to be honest, I like to laugh. Uh, it sounds it may sound weird, you know, a lot of people can get caught up with the, the nature of the game, but, you know, it's something you can't let affect the rest of your game. If you get caught up on one thing, how many things happen during the course of the game, you can't let that impact, obviously, your performance. So, a couple of times where I've had running through trying to defend someone pull my arm back or someone's like coming late on me just laugh it off get back in position and kind of keep going with it to be honest uh, don't let it affect my long-term game yeah and one of the highlights of your performance today was towards the end of the game you got the ball and you went on quite a nice run down the right wing that ended with you colliding with one of the 15 <laughs> defenders yeah. in a audible thing from the dugouts themselves we could hear this <laughs> clash really well uh, is this something you're fond of doing these little runs um, you know, when it comes, like when the opportunity arises, you know, I'm not one to turn it down, you know, I don't mind stepping on the ball, driving with it, um, coming to those kind of challenges. Obviously, I've had a past with obviously a lot of injuries, but I feel like in football you can't, can't shy away from it, especially me being a defender. If I'm, if I'm soft, it makes me a target. So no matter what happens, I feel like, you know, you just got to go into everything strong. And if you go into it stronger, a lot, a lot of times you're going to come out kind of unscathed. So. He did get an earlier one on me during the game and like when the opportunity came, I thought, you know what, if I'd rather me go through him than him, you know, go through me at the end of the day. So yeah, no, nah, enjoyed it though. Enjoyed it, yeah. And you are a young lad, you're a uni student, um, along with quite a few past and present players as well at the club. Uh, in, say, five, ten years, do you want football to be a main thing in your life or just a kind of background hobby? Um, football's always been a big thing in my life, obviously, from where I came from before. Um, came up through Derby's Academy. Um, it's always been a dream of mine to obviously play football, have the ideology since when I was young. Um, so in the next couple of years, I'll try to see how far I can really take my career. Um, you know, God willing, um, you know, I can really push on to the next level. I'm still young, so you know, I still there's a lot I can add to my game. 